proper brake bleeding both during initial installation and before each race or driving event is the secret to consistent, safe brake performance. Not all braking systems are created equal, though single or dual master cylinders and fixed or floating brake calipers all call for different bleeding procedures for best results. Here, we'll demonstrate the proper sequence for bleeding a Tilton dual master cylinder system with fixed calipers. The dual master cylinder setup shown here, a pair of 76 series master cylinders installed on a 600 series Tilton pedal assembly, allows the flexibility of easy brake bias control, either in the pits or on the track with the optional remote adjuster. Before you begin, you'll need a brake bleeder kit consisting of clear tubing and a clear bottle, both made from brake fluid resistant material, an adequate supply of fresh, unopened DOT3 or DOT4 brake fluid, and properly sized wrenches for the brake caliper bleed nipples. On initial installation and setup, the master cylinders will need to be primed before bleeding the system. Fill both master cylinders with fluid and slightly loosen the outlet fitting on both cylinders. Gently depress and release the brake pedal until fluid emerges from both fittings, then tighten the fittings. With the master cylinders primed, bleeding can begin. Fill the clear container with enough fluid to keep the end of the hose submerged, then attach the other end to the bleeder screw. Keeping the end submerged will prevent air from re-entering the system on the return stroke of the pedal. Depress the brake pedal with slow, gentle foot pressure. Then open the caliper bleed screw a bit. Allow the pedal to drop to the fully depressed position, then close the bleed screw. Let the brake pedal return to the relaxed position. Wait several seconds, then repeat the process. When air is no longer visible in the clear line, the caliper is bled. During the process, Keep an eye on the fluid level in the master cylinder reservoirs. Allowing them to go dry will reintroduce air into the system and requires starting from scratch. Properly bleeding the brakes doesn't require any power equipment or large amounts of force applied on the pedal. Because pressure on the brake pedal activates both the front and rear master cylinders, bleeding a dual master system must be done simultaneously on the front and rear calipers. Here's the proper order for a dual master system with a single bleeder screw per caliper. Starting with the passenger side of the vehicle, bleed both the front and rear calipers at the same time. Then move to the driver's side and bleed both the front and rear. On a dual master cylinder system with calipers with two bleeder screws per wheel, the process is similar. Bleed the front and rear brakes simultaneously on the passenger side first, starting with the inboard screws, then doing the outboard, then finish with the front and rear on the driver's side, working inboard to outboard. Once bleeding is complete, brake pedal travel should be minimal. Always test your brakes at a low speed in a safe location before relying on them on the street or in competition. And remember that pad wear during an event can significantly lower the level of brake fluid in the master cylinder reservoirs, so be sure to account for it. For more information about Tilton Engineering's complete line of high-performance brake control components, visit TiltonRacing.com.